We've done a lot of things. So we were nominated a few days ago for a Nobel Prize. Which is a big thing, Nobel Peace Prize. And then yesterday, we were nominated a second time for another Nobel Prize. Now, that's a big thing. To me, you know, it's a big thing, even though, obviously, it's a very political thing. But it's a very big thing, the Nobel Peace Prize, right? I got — I was just reporting — I'm just reporting this. I got zero time on the nightly news, on the network news. Zero. Zero. We got zero time. Think of it. The president of your country is honored by being nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. And your nightly news, ABC, which is terrible, CBS, which is terrible, and probably the worst of all, owned by Comcast. They spend a fortune, you know, on PR. And then every time I get up, I call them Comcast and to sort of wipe out their fortune. But they are bad people. But NBC is the worst of them all. Not one mention. These people are corrupt. Not one mention. Not one mention. So your president gets a Nobel and uh, at least a nomination, and they don't mention it. Joe Biden cannot lead our country because he doesn't really believe in our country. Right now, I don't think he believes in anything. He just wants to go to sleep. That's all. Please, darling, I want to go to bed. I'm exhausted. I made, I made one speech yesterday. But, darling, they gave you the answers and the questions. I know, but that was a big strain because my eyes, I couldn't see the teleprompter. This guy is the worst. I am running — and, you know, it's going to maybe come back to haunt me because we have a rigged election. It's a rigged election. It's the only way we're going to lose. But I'll tell you what. He is the worst candidate in the history of presidential politics. 